Welcome to Global Weather Oscillations, specializing in early warning hurricane landfall locations. We're almost there, 2020 hurricane season. It is about on us. Here are the predictions. 2020 hurricane predictions from Global Weather Oscillations Incorporated. And the average season has 11 to 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and two major hurricanes. This year, GWO is predicting 16 named storms, well above normal, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes, all above normal. But it is not the number of named storms that matters. What does matter is the United States landfalls. And we expect four to five named storms to make landfall, three hurricanes, and one major hurricane. And it even gets worse in 2021 when we go in a very dangerous cycle. Preliminary forecast for 2021 is for 20 named storms, 11 hurricanes, five major hurricanes, and five United States hurricane landfalls, two to three major hurricane landfalls. Climate Pulse Technology by Global Weather Oscillations, the only company using it, tracks natural cycles and predicts hurricane landfall locations six months in advance. During the four-year period from 2016 to 2019, we had nine hurricane landfalls, five major hurricanes. The red lines are major hurricanes and yellow lines are category one to two hurricanes. And GWO predicted all nine landfall locations six months in advance. How can GWO help your company and customers? We can provide accurate hurricane and tropical storm predictions for your particular zone or zones. We have 11 United States zone forecasts from New England down to Texas. And during 2019, our verification was 91% correct for hot zones in, 19, uh, in 2019. And in 10 year period from 19, uh, uh, 2009 through 2019, 87%. You can ask questions with GWO's private interactive webinars and our weekly Outlook webinars that look two weeks into the future as we compare computer models, climatology, and other aspects. Tracking webinars particularly begin when a storm is expected to form and affect one of our zones. The webinars begin up to 14 days prior to landfall. Example is Hurricane Irma in 2017. And a example of a prediction and tracking webinars. Here is our actual zone forecast for the west coast of Florida in 2017, we predicted a high risk for hurricane conditions. When we say high risk, we expect the event to occur. And we also predicted a high risk for a major hurricane in this particular zone. And high risk means we expected a major hurricane. Our zone forecast also included discussion in the zone, and this is a snippet from it. We said there would be a major impact category three to four hurricane landfall south tip of Florida that north would up through the state. Four days prior to Hurricane Irma making a landfall, the National Hurricane Center did a good job predicting major hurricane coming across, and then it predicted it to curve northward, just uh, passing near or just to the east of Miami and up into Georgia. That was four days prior. 
And the red area shows the area where extensive evacuations took place in the east side of Florida, where we expected major damage. However, in our tracking webinars four days prior and five days prior, the yellow line is where we expected Hurricane Irma to move. And this, of course, with the critical area, red area, over on the west side of the state. And this is the actual track of Hurricane Irma up the west side of the state. For more information, please contact Professor Dilley at 352-789-4461 or email at dillyglobalweatheroscillations.com or globalweathercycles.com. And our websites are listed below. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation.